Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing amazingly wherever you are on this planet we called Earth. I went to B&M, right? And I got this. It's a controller pad from PDP. Now, the main thing I want to show you is that, £25. I also want to point you to that. It's made for Xbox. But I also want to show you that back picture there. The reason is, this controller pad, right, you can customise it. You can make it, you, you know, tailored to you. It's got a program you can use for your computer, and this does work on PC, and it does work on Xbox. So, later I will be showing you the videos of how it works. You know what I mean? It's possibly one of the best controllers I've used. I like the fact that on my normal controller I use, this one, the dead zones are frighteningly bad. Where this one, like, the dead zones are non-existent. Like... You can control how much the trigger's pressed and what it means. You can control the analogs. Honestly, it's amazing. It is wired. That is a negative, but it is wired. You do get a long lead. You get like an 8-foot lead, and it is USB-C, so that's pretty cool. But other than that, this, this control pad is amazing. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to kind of get like a, a POV of it so we can have a look at the, the physical features of it, and then we're going to run it through a game so we can see how it plays. So let's do this. Yes. So here we have the rematch controller pad by PDP. Uh, the feel of it is quite nice, it's very flat, you can't really feel that different paint works on it. But I quite like the style, quite like the style. You can see that on the analog sticks you get some inner rings on both, along with in the right in the middle is a bit more um, raised area, like a texture, just so you've got better grip. You can see on the D-pad you've got some added icons, a plus and a minus, uh, a person and a game controller. That's how you can adjust the in-game volume and the chat volume running through the headset. The headset obviously plugs in underneath there and you've got the button there for your microphone to mute or on mute rather than use your headset, which is quite nice. You've got your usual buttons up there, the Xbox button with an LED on top just to say that it's uh, connected to whatever you're using because obviously this is a wired control pad, not wireless. You've got your usual buttons. Let's go round the back. So obviously PDP symbol right there or logo even. Bumpers don't have any texture on there, but they're quite great buttons, to be fair. Nice wide buttons. If I do it, pro there you go. So on the triggers, you can see that there is a little bit of texture. It's not a different material, like it's not rubber or anything, but it is an added um, texture there just for better grip. Um, same on the other ones. And you can probably see just on the sides there that the actual back of the controller, I'll tell you, I'll lift it. You can see that the back of the controller has the same kind of carbon fibery look, but it's added grip. The back buttons also have the grip on there. I love the location of them and the size of them because i got big hands and I'm not pressing them, which is nice. But that's an overview of the controller. So let's have a look at how it works. So we're just going to load up with some Cyberpunk. We've got the camera on so you can see the controller pad. Not that it's going to really give you much idea of what's going on, but we're testing to see how responsive it is, how comfortable it is. The one thing I'll say is where the back buttons are, it sits nicely in my hand, so I'm not pressing them when I don't want to. Um, everything feels good. I, I can't get over how light it is. That that's that's the thing. It's all right. So it's a little bit slow on input, just because I load it down because I normally play with mouse and keyboard. So let's get a gun. All right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty responsive to be fair. Uh, naturally, we're going to have to throw a grenade, aren't we? That was cool. Yeah, it seems to be pretty responsive. Get a big dude. I forgot you could do slides. That's one. Anyway, <laughs> it's
it's, it's working pretty good. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at the the program you use. So this is what the actual control hub looks like. So it says, please connect to your controller. So if you press A to refresh, there it is. A to, sele a to select. Now you can see that it gives you all the different options here. So audio control, uh, configuration, remapping, the button diagnostics, audio diagnostics. It, honestly, it's, it's brilliant. You can do all the testing of the analog sticks. So it will tell you if it's in full range of motion, as you can see. Hopefully that's picking it up. And then this one. It's fantastic. We can do triggers. No, that one, I want triggers. So this will show you the sensitivity of the triggers. So I'm only pressing it a little bit. And again. I, th I think it's brilliant, to be fair. Like, for, for what this control pad is, you, you can't complain. Like, everything's perfect, really. Everything feels right. And the fact that you can do, like remapping and audio configuration you can see stuff here like the vibration is crazy amazing but yeah that that's a quick run through of how it looks uh let, let's end this video yes yes let's do that so there we have the pdp rematched radio black advanced controller pad wired controller pad i genuinely can't get over how good this is the only reason why i brought this one is because i was fed up of using this bloody thing on my computer because when I'm playing first-person games, generally I'm mouse and keyboard. Every other game's like racing games or even some third-person games, I have to go controller pad. I, I just find it more easier, uh, more comfortable. But this one surprised me down to the whole customization you can do, bewilders me, down to the fact that you can literally change dead zones. Because I know that other controller pad had seriously bad dead zones. This blew my mind away for £25. I genuinely can't promote it enough, really. It's, it's brilliant. I've not really tried the voice chat out just because I don't really do online gaming through my Xbox. But all in all, this has to be one of my most favourite things I've brought. Up for £25 compared to, what, 50 60 plus quid for an actual official controller pad? And this one you can customise, so that's pretty cool. Especially if you're a PC gamer. That comes in handy, especially with the button mapping. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there because I could rattle my brains around everything that I love about this control pad. And no one wants to hear that, do they? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you be and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.